It is mail time today, folks. We have a vinyl to unbox. This strange lump over here, it is my cat, who actually has met Finn Wolfhard because she's super cool. Hi, what's up? Look at that cat. cat. So sweet. Yeah, put that on my on my trivia. My cat has met Finn Wolfhard. Okay, so I get vinyl all the time. I collect vinyl. I don't normally do unboxings, but this one is different because this one is A24's When You Finish Saving the World soundtrack. Thanks, Miss America. And it happens to be a, one of my favorite studios because I'm a little I'm a little film nerd like that. Second of all, in this movie is one of my favorite actors of all time. You might be thinking, Leighton, you're not you're not very obvious with your interests at all. Who is your favorite actor? Finn Wolfhard. It's Finn Wolfhard. In this movie, Finn Wolfhard plays Ziggy Katz, who I relate to on a very deep and spiritual level. Like, okay, you're like, he's annoying. Okay, I'm annoying too, what about it? Second of all, there's something about an online musician who constantly feels the need to perform because if you're not performing, you're not important. And if you're not important, no one's paying attention to you. And if no one's paying attention to you, then who are you? That, you know, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of where I'm at, guys. Uh, trying to, my cat just left. I'm trying to create content with a mom in the house who doesn't really get it and you have to kind of work around. That's also pretty relatable. Love you though, mama. I'm also dressed as Ziggy Cats today. If you couldn't tell, the shirt is the Aubrey's, which is Finn's actual real life band. Yeah, we got the Ziggy Cats coat and this hat that I commissioned from a guy who had absolutely no idea who Ziggy Katz was, but he made the hat anyway, so shout out to him. So one of the things that's interesting about Ziggy and the marketing that they did for this movie is that they kind of tried to play it off as if Ziggy was a real person, like a real musician in the real world. So they gave him like his own Spotify page, even like in the credits, they'll list him like original songs by Ziggy Cat. They won't say Finn Wolfhard, even though they use some of the Aubrey songs in the movie. It's still technically Ziggy's. And the marketing really tries to push him off as a real person, which I think is interesting and makes the character seem more real. And I think it's really creative and fun. I suppose one of the ways to kind of market this and kind of make him real is to give him a vinyl. It's the soundtrack for the actual movie, but the theme of the vinyl is like it's actually Ziggy Cat's vinyl. You'll see. So let's get to unboxing, shall we? They gave me this postcard of this random man. I have no idea who this is. Very sweaty man. A man, a picture of a man. Also, you know the little um, like uh, order slip things you get when you order stuff online that's just like basically like a printout of what you got. Yeah, uh, most of the time that's just like a piece of paper. A24 put it in this little fancy envelope like okay this is why I love A24. They're so above and beyond. Also shout out to A24 for being like the only studio during the writer's strike that was like yeah I'll pay you. I love you A24 but please release has been hotel please. Ha! Ah, no. All right are you guys ready for the vinyl reveal? Oh, don't look at this dent, okay? I didn't do it. Blame my mailman. My mailman did it. It just came like this, okay? So here is the front. Here is the back. This is Ziggy Cat's. This is Ziggy Cat's mom, who is kind of questionable, okay? It's kind of questionable. I think there's a reason her son is so desperate for attention, and I kind of think it's her fault, but this isn't a movie review, okay, guys? This is a vinyl review. What's interesting about this vinyl is that it has a little cover protection slip, right? And on it, you see when you finish saving the world and even on the back here, that's where they list all of the songs and such and all that good jazz. Here is the actual vinyl here. We have beautiful Finn Wolfhard. There is Ziggy's mom on the back, there we are. And here's the thing that caught my eye when I saw this vinyl. This, this right here. So this is just a really interesting collage of what appears to be fan mail that Ziggy has received, which I think is really fun and cute and whimsical. I think it just, it really pops. I don't know, I just like it. Maybe it's just a little indie in me, but I love little messy doodles on things. I don't know. Let's open up the actual thing, right? So it's just your plain black vinyl 
But what's interesting is they have the cat in the middle. When I first saw this, I just saw this. I didn't know it was Ziggy Cats. I actually thought it was like something to do with Joan Jett because Joan also uses the cat. But one thing about Ziggy Cats is that he is going to market his last name. That's one of the things I love about this character is that he's going to use a cat and I love cats. So not only was it a Fimblefired vinyl, it was also a cat vinyl. So of course I had to get it. I love right here, it says possible logo. Yeah, you made it your logo, dingus. Like I said before, they used Aubrey's songs and kind of played it off as Ziggy songs because same person singing it, Fimble Fart is Ziggy Cat. Actually, no, Ziggy Cats is his own person. He's real, he's real, guys. The whole thing with Ziggy is that he's not supposed to be good. <laughs> he's supposed to be, you know, a little arrogant. He doesn't really know his lane. He thinks he's better than what he actually is. And personally, I'd be a little offended if I was playing this character and they're like, yeah, this guy, he sucks at music, but we want to use your songs on the soundtrack. I'd be like, which is not fair at all. I love the Aubreys. The Aubreys are great. Also, Calpurnia, fly high. Here's another little extra that came with this vinyl. It came with a guitar pick. So you two can play Ziggy Cat songs. It even has the Ziggy Cat's logo on it, which I thought is really, really cute. I actually play guitar and bass, but I, I, I don't play bass with, 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 a, with a pick. I don't play bass with a pick. All right, I only use picks with guitar. Need to put that on the record. But yeah, I actually play instruments and I might use this, I don't know, but I thought it was really creative that they, they put that in there, which is which is cool. So yeah, here's here's been my vinyl unboxing. Here's my favorite actor. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check me out on TikTok and Instagram by the same name that it is on here, Groovy Ghost Notes. You can follow me on Twitter or X by the name Groovy Ghost, but the O in Ghost is a zero. and uh, you can follow my podcast that's exclusively on Spotify called The Groovy Graveyard. Finn Wolfhard. Finn Wolfhard, if you're listening, he's not listening. Finn Wolfhard, if you're listening, um, let's collab, bro. <laughs> As always, I will see you in the next one.